Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And for those of you who are new to my channel, thank you so much for um, joining me along my IVF journey. So when I, you know, greet you with a welcome back, I'm really actually greeting myself with a welcome back because um, I have been on a hiatus from uh, filming my or recording rather filming recording whatever my my journey um because if you have been watching and again uh for my new followers or new visitors i'll invite you to watch my content from the beginning but if you've been following and you saw my last video i shared with you guys maybe it was the last one or the the one before that i was just sharing with you guys that i'll probably be chilling just for a little bit only because we're basically uh, in the waiting phase between my unfortunate um canceled fresh transfer um and uh awaiting my frozen transfer my frozen embryo transfer so just to give you all a and I'm I'm sorry I'm looking down because I'm noticing I got a lot of cords and stuff down here but nonetheless I just to give you a, a heads up or an update rather I had I was already set to go in September for my um, fresh embryo transfer and unfortunately I became very ill and um, we we did a freeze all what's called what's called a freeze all and we froze all of my embryos that were retrieved initially I was told that I had 17 eggs retrieved and that 12 had fertilized and made it to day five well apparently after the um, cancellation of the fresh transfer and into scheduling my frozen embryo teaching it was told to me that I actually have 14 embryos so that was very exciting um, I was like oh my gosh I said well how does that happen and she said well maybe there were a couple that they were still eyeing still watching and they came through so I'm like okay hey the more the merrier right so since then I've been basically trying to chill now I again this this channel <laughs> I said from the beginning that I was going to be very transparent about everything about this whole process um, and I want to be fully transparent about one particular aspect of my life that is occurring as we speak but um, I don't want to, what's the word? I don't want to, it's almost like how, you know, individuals plead the fifth so as to not incriminate themselves or so as to not uh, mess up an investigation, so to speak. And, and, and it is pretty, um, in a pretty in-depth situation but nonetheless um that is going on currently and um i just wanted that to be known that that is going on right now and <laughs> it is taking up a little bit of space in my life um so in dealing with that i can't go into detail i'm just gonna leave it at that i can't go into detail about it um unfortunately i have to let it all come out in the wash and then I can be more open about it but that is going on other than that I have noticed I am not as anxious as I was leading up to the egg retrieval that process so this time around i've just been like go with the flow like it is what it is i i, I really feel like i really feel like yeah you know now that i've kind of gone through the process so to speak not necessarily the transfer process but just the ivf process the hardest part of the ivf process it's like okay like 
Okay, what's next? <laughs> so time has been flying. I say that loosely. It's been flying for me. Um, I haven't really put much thought into it. There hasn't been much much anxiety or worry. I even had to tell myself, girl, where is your calendar? Like, you need to make sure <laughs> you, you are... Um, you know, you're not missing days and, and starting your medications and all that kind of stuff there. Right now, I'm only taking birth control. And actually, today, I start um, my Lupron shots. So, the Lupron shots, it, from my understanding, and I, yes, I talked about it in, our, in the last video, you know, what it actually does. But it, it just basically quiets everything. <laughs> everything that I'm taking right now in this cycle is just quieting everything, quieting my <clears throat> like my ovaries are sleep, 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 sleep um, and of course the clinic wants to be able to control your cycle so that it can do what it needs to do to implant the embryo at the right time, so that is where we are, so I start my Lupron shots today and then I believe in a week or so um I will introduce my estrogen pills and then a little bit into that, I will start um, progesterone and oil shots and then um, prayerfully with a pregnancy, I will also begin heparin shots, which heparin is a blood thinner. I think I start that a little bit before just to make sure that my blood is thinned out like during the implantation process and all of that and after so i'll be doing that but as it stands i'm like cooler than a cucumber other than that like one portion of my life that i was sharing with you all about that i can't go into detail right now everything has just been pretty cool i mean i've just really been chilling like chill 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 i mean you know and maybe even maybe maybe even too chill like maybe slightly disconnected and I think it's just because I am concerned and not in a negative way just concerned about work it's um, getting towards the end of the year so I'm thinking about business stuff end of the year uh, how am I going to line that up with potential pregnancy and time off stuff like that my son's birthday is coming up november the 15th so i still have a watchful eye on where my emotions are with that and for all of my new viewers subscribers my son liam passed away um he was 20 weeks gestation when he passed away so i have his birthday coming up so i think i think those things are kind of just circling around and I think I'm just anxious to have this and and I'm and I don't mean anxious like I'm worried but you know it's that anxious it's like that Christmas Eve you're eight nine years old anxiousness anticipation that's the word it I'm I'm anticipating I'm I'm really looking forward to this process being over and done with and me being pregnant and that that that's where i am so i will say i have fallen off on journaling i have fallen off on meditation i had to rework my acupuncturist appointments only because of course i'm supposed to be done with that by now um and i may even have to come out a little more come out of the pocket a little more to pay for more, more services since you know we're extending so that is happening I still do my float sessions and one thing that I did notice is that my back is starting to bother me again so um, my body is telling me hey girl get in with your massage therapist hello like ASAP so I am going to be making an appointment with my massage therapist and get me some much needed rubbing to this back. I also plan on, and I don't know when I'm going to do this, but me and a friend were talking about a spa day. And I think that will really, really um, 
help me to just relax and take things easy one day at a time focus on being grounded all of that so this video was just to kind of give you all a heads up on where I am mentally where I am emotionally and where I am in the process I will likely do a follow-up video or maybe not no, 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 no. Um, but I will take some footage of the um, Lupron shots. It's it's really just like what you guys saw um, the first time around when I was doing the the um, HCG shots um, and whatever that other medication is that I was taking. Follow stem. Yeah, I was taking the HCG, the low low dose HCG. HCG top and the follow stem shot so it'll be a shot in my abdomen and I'll have to do that every night so that is where we are in the process I do have an appointment I have two appointments two ultrasound appointments for this entire process so I have those scheduled already we're good to go with that and what else yeah th that is it so for those of you who are um, considering this journey or are on this journey, I just want to let you know that I feel you, I understand you, I know exactly where you are coming from, but understand that the pain, the emotions, the physical pain, the money <laughs> it is and will be well worth it in the end i am praying that each and every one of you get what you desire and i just hope that you are wishing the same for me along my journey thank you so much for watching and i shall see you all a little bit later if you haven't already done so, like and subscribe to my like this video and subscribe to my channel and then also hit the notification bell so that you can get alerts when I upload new content. Let me get back to work, y'all, because I got people to see. Talk to you later. Bye.